So my first question through Twitter, and this is a great question, was what were you doing when they told you you were being casted? Question mark. Hardest part in filming 24 seven question mark. Last time you saw Leah question mark. So the last time I saw Leah was we'd gotten into a confrontation. Like I was walking in the street and she had gotten into a confrontation with me. She was like screaming and going crazy. Uh, that was the last time that I saw Leah. However, we've talked since then and I think that we're fine. I mean, I haven't seen her, so it would be nice to see her. Uh, you were being, uh, hardest part of being filmed 24 seven, I think would have to be like when you were going to the bathroom, they could hear you cause you were still mic'd up. So that was kind of weird. You know, if you had like, let's do number two and someone's like listening to you and you can, you know, that they're listening to you. Uh, so that was kind of weird being like mic'd up 24 seven. Also not really having like a private thought, like you couldn't email someone privately cause they had this huge computer monitor and you were being listened to on the phone. So that was kind of a little difficult. So I, where I was when I was told, I was actually in Florida at Disney with my friend Chris. And we were at the pool. We were drinking margaritas or daiquiris. I mean, we were drinking daiquiris and we were like swimming. We we're just having a good time. And I was really, I was preoccupied thinking like, oh, I wonder if I got on the show. But I was kind of like trying not to think about it. And then I got a call from, oh my God, what was her name? I forget her name, the girl who I talked to. But she called me and she was like, hi, like, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm in Florida. I'm actually at Disney. Like, but you know, I'm at a pool right now. I'm drinking. And she's like, can you go up to the hotel room? So I was like, okay. So I went up to the hotel room and like had her, I had them on speakerphone. And my friend Chris was sitting there and my, I was just talking to them and they told me they were like, you know, uh, there was a bunch of them. There were like six or seven people in the room and they were, you know, just telling me all the stuff. They were like, you know, don't tell anybody. Don't, uh, like, don't tell your friends. Don't tell a lot of different people, you know, because if this gets out on the internet, like, you know, we could take this away from you. Uh, this is like, we don't know exactly when it's going to start, but this is when it's going to start. And I just remember like sitting there and I was like drinking a daiquiri and I was just like in my bathing suit still like with a towel around me on this like you know bed in Florida and I'm really like, oh my god like this is life-changing this is a life-changing moment and I just remember thinking like this is it like this is what I was like asking God for you know like I have this opportunity and it's this is gonna be amazing and not that I was like I'm gonna be a big star but it's it's pretty overwhelming and it was just such a wonderful great feeling and then I actually called my parents after my parents were like really negative. They were like, oh, well, how much are you going to make? And uh, your brothers are doing this. Your brothers are writing a screenplay. Like, you should be nice to them because I don't really, like, have that great of a relationship with my brothers. Uh, but, yeah, they, like, never wrote that screenplay. Nothing ever happened with them. But Or maybe they did write a screenplay, but it never got picked up by anything. And they don't do anything related to entertainment. But it was just, like, so, like, oh, my God. Like, I'm trying to tell you, you know, I just got this amazing, life-changing experience. Like, ah, this is amazing. And my parents were kind of not really excited. They were like, oh, okay, that's nice. Like it, it was like, I was telling them that, you know, I just baked a cake for the first time. Like they didn't, they weren't really like supportive. And my friend Chris, after I got off the phone with them, they, he was like, Hey, I have to give you a hug. He's like, I don't even think I really want you to go, but I feel so bad for you that, you know, your parents are being like this. It's just crazy. And I'm like, I know who from your season do you still have a friendship with? So I don't talk to any of the girls regularly. I'm not really friends with any of them, I guess you'd say. I love Kat and I forever will always love Kat. And I guess we are friends, but I don't talk to her really other than social media. I don't see her. You know, she lives in Philadelphia. Like we don't really have uh, like a, a real friendship. I don't see Morgan. Morgan lives here in California now and I don't see her or talk to her at all. So I guess we don't really have a friendship. I don't see Leah. Um, I think the last one I've seen from my cast was probably Erica. I do like Erica a lot. She lives like close, not super close, but we don't really hang out. Uh, I don't really see uh, Danielle or Brandy ever. I don't really have any kind of friendship with either of them. So I don't really talk to any of the girls. Was there a certain drama situation in or out of the Bad Girl Clubhouse that did not air on Bad Girls Club? 
uh, you know, there was a lot of different uh, drama and stuff that happened on the Bad Girls Club in and out. You know, a lot of the girls, like, we fought after the show, but nothing really, you know, to really talk about. Nothing, like, so amazing. Please explain the cell phone, cell phone police. I'm curious to know. I don't know what that means. That probably is back to the question where, or the thing about the trailer where the, I was talking to the police and she was saying that, like, oh, someone, you know, or... They had a knife. Uh, that's probably what that was talking about. For the Bad Girls Club Q&A, would you do All-Star Battle? I definitely would. Or would you host a special reunion? I would love to host anything on Bad Girls Club. However, I don't think that they're like really opening that up to other Bad Girls. I think that was kind of like they were looking at doing it with Tanisha. And then I don't know if they would do it with any other Bad Girls. I'm not huge up in the bad girl like totem pole that I think that they would choose me. Would I do it? Of course. Would I be bad at it? Of course. And I'm, I feel like I'm the only one who ever took hosting classes professionally. Do you meet slash hang out with fans? I uh, like, I'll do certain things where like I'll post about it and if fans come, they totally can. Like I actually did like a flea market where I was like helping a friend and we were selling stuff and a, like a dozen, I would say like a dozen fans showed up, which I was very surprised about. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, like, I'll do, do stuff like that. What's your favorite alcohol? I love Tito's vodka and soda because Tito's is made out of potatoes and I do not get hung over when I drink Tito's. I also have been loving hot toddies. Hot toddies with Crown Royale is mm, so delicious. Look up a hot toddy recipe. You will not be disappointed. How's your vegan journey so far? Okay, so I started going vegan on December 12th. So I have been vegan for under a week. I have really liked it. I actually found this amazing vegan restaurant that is, I think, like a mile away from me or like a mile, like 0.2 something away from me. And it is so good. I love their coconut soup. I also love, I got drunken noodles, which I'm going to have for lunch today, which I had like a little bit for breakfast actually. But yeah, I've been really enjoying the vegan lifestyle so far. Actually, if you look up 101 Reasons to go vegan. I watched that last night and it was like a great documentary. It was, or not documentary, it was like a presentation, but it's really interesting. Just all the things that we're lied to about. Like I always thought that you had to drink milk in order to get like strong bones. Actually, America has the highest rate of arthritis and the highest rate of osteoporosis in the world. And that's mainly because we drink cow milk because cow milk actually makes your bones weaker. It doesn't make them stronger. So it's this like matrix of a lie that we've been fed. Why did you punch Leah in the face? And do you regret being on the show? Uh, I already answered, do I regret being on the show? No. Uh, did I punch Leah in the face? I was just really messed up. I was really drunk and really crazy. And I think I was taking out a lot of aggression um, through just being frustrated. And I think also the thing about the guy earlier in the night, I think that it like you know, kind of got to me. But if I was like drugged, I would not have done that. You know, she was like a good friend of mine. Would you do Bad Girl Redemption? Yes, I would. Would you also? Yes, I did. Or yes, I would. Um, and then, yeah, this is like, how did production tell you you were kicked off of Bad Girls 5? So the way that I was kicked off was kind of not, it was very not like ceremonious at all. Uh, they had talked to me, I was like in a van and they were like, cause I had said that I wanted to leave before they were like, you're kicked out. And I had written this letter to give to Leah. I wrote it, that letter that like they made me read on the show. I had written that letter to her and asked one of the producers to give that to her. And they had taken the letter and I guess they read it. And then they like wanted me to read it to her. So they had said to me, oh, well, like you need to read this to her. And I was like, I really don't want to. And they were like, you need to read this to her. Like we're gonna have you come like read the letter to her. And uh, then we'll decide if you're going to be on the show or not. Like, we'll decide, you know, if she says that it's okay after you read the letter. So they kind of made me read that letter, which I thought was so stupid because some people were like, oh, you know, that was so fake and she was fake crying and reading that stupid letter. I wrote the letter not thinking I was going to read that on, on live TV or on TV. I thought I wrote that letter thinking I was going to give them, give her, give someone that letter to give to her so that she knew I was sorry. That was it, you know. Okay, um, 
is Natalie filming a new series? Will you be on it? I have no idea if Natalie is filming a new series and I will not be on it because like, I think she moved. I don't think she lives around here. You know, Natalie and I have kind of a weird friendship because I was one of her bridesmaids in her wedding. We were fairly close. We vacationed a few times together, but then she would not really um, like include me in things, you know, like she wouldn't like, I mean like she wouldn't call me and be like, hey, I'm doing this. And actually last year when I was doing uh, after Buzz, she had like texted me and was like, hey, you know, people are saying you're talking bad about me and blah, blah, like we're friends. And I was like, who is this? Like I didn't even like have her new number saved. So I love Natalie. I have nothing bad to say about Natalie. I love her husband, Jacob. I think she's a good person. I just, we haven't really been in contact lately, so I have no idea. Okay. So, oh, I'm also going to do Snapchat questions. So I just did blogger questions, I did Twitter questions, I'm gonna do Snapchat questions, and then that will wrap up my Bad Girls Club Q&A, and then I am never doing another Bad Girl Club Q&A for my YouTube channel, so hopefully this answers all your guys' questions. Hi, Kristen, I work at Get Shaved, saw you there a few months ago, look, oh my God. I have no idea what that person wrote. Me too. Hey, thanks so much. I really couldn't read your things that happened so quick. So can you send that to me again? Hey, thanks so much. Hey, Kristen. Um, I would just like to know what's the most shady thing that the producers have done that you know of? Okay, so the most shady thing I know of with the producers doing uh well first of all different producers than i had my producers were brandon and jeff and they were amazing the producers now i think are shady because of the whole thing with the twins you know how like all of their stuff got destroyed production didn't step in which is insane to me and on top of production didn't stepping in i heard a lot of girls talking that like production wanted them to do that which isn't shocking to me uh i also think that the girls and just in general, I feel like have talked really bad about production and the production was didn't treat them really humanely. On my season, I would have to say it was that they were like secretly telling us to do stuff. They would secretly be like, you know, you gotta cause some drama, you gotta spice stuff up. And they love that. Hey Christian, just wanted to say you're my favorite bad girl of all oh, time thank and you. I wanted to ask, what's the reason why Brandy isn't allowed on any more oxygen production? Actually, I did an entire video about why Brandy is not allowed on any more of the Bad Girl productions. Actually, if you go through my videos, or I might post the link down below if I can figure out how to do that, uh, I have an entire video about that, about that whole story. But pretty much, I was with Brandy in New York, and she attacked one of the people that was in charge of us, like kind of our chaperone, like she attacked her. And then the uh, legal people at, you know, Oxygen and all of this. And they were like, no, you can never be on another show. Okay, this person said, do you still have cat? Or answer that. Do you and Kaylee ever become okay again? Hi, I was actually wondering if you became friends with Leah again. Or if you guys just never really talked the show. Hi, I don't know if my other snap sent, but I was actually just wondering if you and Leah had ever became friends again. <laughs> uh, you have beautiful blonde hair and it did send. Uh, okay, so Leah and I, like I said earlier, we don't really talk anymore. Uh, you know, she's a great girl, nothing against her. What was the other one? Um, the other question that she asked? Oh, Kaylee. Uh, no, I don't talk to Kaylee. I actually ran into Kaylee in West Hollywood like years ago, maybe like three or four years ago. And I bought her a shot. We talked. I was like, oh my, like everything was fine. And then like a week later, she talked a bunch of shit about me on Twitter, which is so crazy. And then about maybe a year ago or something, I had said something like I, Leah and I, we like, will say nice things to each other via like Instagram and Leah had said something on Instagram, or I had said something on Instagram, like under a picture of hers. And then Kaylee wrote under it, 
and like wrote this huge crazy spiel about me about like how I'm a horrible person and I'm going to hell and like I drink animals blood or just something like insane like it was such an insane rant and then Leah had deleted actually that comment but I saw it on my feed like because she had tagged me in it and it was just like really nuts like she seems and it, it was weird because we're talking years after being on the show. So she like, I don't know. Uh, no, I do not like regret. I mean, I talked a little bit about that earlier. I don't know what his first question was, sorry. What was your first impression of Brandy, Danielle, and Ashley? I think all three of them, to be honest, were, like, really trashy. Brandy I liked at first. She was, like, kind of weird, but she, like, makes herself seem like she's your friend. Danielle, like, trashy, very young. Ashley, I just, like, did not like her hair. I already talked about that. Even you hang out with like Julie and Amber, are there any other Bad Girls castmates that you're close with from any other season? You know, Julie and Amber, I consider them like my real friends. I don't really even consider them like Bad Girls or like girls that were on past seasons. Other than them, I really don't talk to any other Bad Girls. I mean, I talk to Julie and I talk to Amber like very, like very frequently. Like we're really good friends. I'm so happy. Oh my god, he's like showing all these parts of bad girls. Is, do you watch MTV's The Challenge and how do you think you would stack up on that show since you do CrossFit and all that? I think that this so guy. Oh, I think that this guy asked me that same question in a different video. Their question is. Oh my god. Oh my god, this guy's asking like a million questions. Julie, I'm going to Top State Fullerton right now for radio TV film, so I'm really interested. Um, please just include in your video anything that they don't show that happens on the show, anything that, anything that happened that they show on the show that's edited that we... Everything's edited. It's a TV show. Um, oh my god, this person's like, I wish I had your hair and eyebrows. Okay, so there's like a lot more questions. I mean, I'm looking at like maybe 30 more questions, but I think they're all pretty repetitive. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can just write them underneath and I will reply to those questions. And then why don't you check out underneath to see if anybody else asked that question and if I replied to it. I know this was like a very repetitive video. I'm sorry about that. I love you guys so much and I would do anything for you guys. And I love all my fans that are ride or die. Like you guys are amazing. And I love the Bad Girls Club. I have nothing bad to say about it. I just am really appreciative of the experience that I had on the show. And I really love you guys and I want to hug you guys all the time. And if you ever see me, you can totally come up to me. Like I am not a bougie person. Like I love meeting you guys. I really wanted to just get do this q a because you guys asked me so many questions all the time so i hope that this answered some of that stuff i love you guys please like my video please subscribe to my channel please leave me some love bye